In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to remove perspective distortions from your photos. Hey everyone, welcome back to the Photoshop Training Channel. My name is Jesus Ramirez and you can find me on Instagram at jrfromptc. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use the Camera Raw filter to remove perspective distortions from your photos. Okay, let's get started. We're going to work with this image here. It clearly has some perspective distortions and we can easily fix them by using the Camera Raw filter. I'm going to right click on the layer and convert it into a smart object to work non-destructively. Then I'm going to go into Filter, Camera Raw Filter. And you can press Shift T on the keyboard or click on this icon to enable a transform tool. This tool works great in photos with crooked horizons or buildings with vertical and or horizontal lines that aren't straight. This tool has four upright modes that you can use to automatically fix perspective. Auto, Level, Vertical, and Full. As you can see, they all give you a different result. In most cases, I like using the Auto because I think it gives you the best balance when correcting the perspective of your photos. After you apply any one of those adjustments, you can refine the adjustment by clicking and dragging on these sliders to further enhance your correction. You can hold Alt, Option on the Mac, and the Cancel button becomes a Reset button, and you can click on it to reset the tool. You also have the Guided button, this one here. If you select it, you can create two or more guides to straighten the horizon and vertical lines. So I can click and drag over the image and follow those vertical lines. I can create a second one, maybe use this building here on the side, and Photoshop will automatically straighten those lines. I can also create a horizontal line to straighten the horizon, but in this case it won't do that good of a job because following that line would really throw off the perspective. So I can click on that icon there to select that line and press the backspace or delete key on the Mac to get rid of that line. And of course you can come in and adjust the sliders to further enhance the effect. I think that in this case, the automatic upright does the better job. And actually what I'll do is I'll just hold Alt, Option on a Mac, Reset, and then hit the automatic button. And that gives me a much, much better perspective on my image. I can then press the OK button and you can see the before and the after. And that's it for this tutorial. I hope that you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments below what type of tutorials you would like to see next. Also, if this is your first time at the Photoshop Training Channel, don't forget to click on that subscribe button and also click on the notification bell to get notified when I publish new tutorials. Thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you again soon.